Yo guys, what is up? It is Shrimp Cup. Welcome back to another commentary. Today, I wanted to discuss with you guys some new laws that are going to be implemented in China. These laws are not implemented just yet, but they soon will be. And I feel like I wanted to discuss this with you guys because this will apply to Call of Duty Mobile. At least the, chi the Chinese version, the CN version, and possibly to the other versions of the game. Let's go into it. Guys, I don't want to make this video too long because I want to make this as informative as possible. So I'm going to cram as much information as I can uh, in the best way possible here. But I am going to link an article in the description uh, that will be in full Chinese. But also I will send an English version uh, to the website as well if you are curious, obviously. But guys... China is going to implement a new regulation about online games. So since they're not implementing this regulation right now, they're actually publicly asking players slash developers about, you know, what they think of this. And it looks like that uh, Tencent stock and all this other market jargon, it's not going too good for Tencent, actually. It's, it's, it's actually quite affecting them and their place in the market, if you will. But moving on to the important information here, I did want to say that the two main things I did want to discuss with you guys real quick was, it was one of the rules that uh, forbids daily login bonuses, first purchase bonuses, and accumulative purchase bonuses. Now, what does this mean, guys? Basically, daily login bonus, that, that's not gonna be a thing. They don't want that anymore. They don't want like a daily incentive to hop on the game. First, pur first purchase bonuses and accumulative bu purchase bonuses, that's basically if you buy something for the first time, you get a discount, or or you like an extra item, or if you keep buying something, you get a better item. For example, in COD Mobile, that would be like the prestige weapons, if you like keep buying legendaries or mythics, and after you get like three, I think, in like a ranked season, you get like another legendary, that would count as an accumulative purchase bonus, at least in my opinion. And then guys, this one is probably the craziest one. Not allowed to sell gotcha random pull service to under 18s. Now, from what I understood, I didn't think I was under the assumption that they weren't that the rule said that they weren't allowed to sell gotcha random pull services to anybody, like not just under 18s. But this is probably true. I don't know how COD Mobile would actually go about doing this. Uh, oh, oh, and this one too. It kind of connects to the previous point I was just saying, guys. They want to limit how much money an underage person can spend ba based on their age. So I think that this will also apply to above 18 as well. I think there might be some spending restrictions for anybody because it's clear that they want to reduce uh, spending in games, it looks like. Yeah, wow. So, guys, first of all, let me know what you think in the comments below about this. How do you think this is going to affect Call of Duty? If you ask me, guys, I do think that the CN version, once these laws go through, now we're not sure when these laws are going to go through, but I will keep you guys updated on that if you are interested. I might just keep updated on it anyway. But, guys, I think that they will change the CN version, not having daily login bonuses, not having lucky draws. I think the only way that the CN version will be able to continue is if they just sell bundles. Now, bundles aren't really a thing in COD Mobile right now. I actually remember when they had bundles before, and I actually liked it. You could just buy the items you straight up wanted. There are even a couple bundles that you could get for like 24, 25 bucks, and you get a freaking legendary. Like, there, there, there are bundles that are in COD Mobile that I actually really like, and I prefer that system, because one, it's cheaper, two, you literally get the items you want, you don't have to depend on luck or spend a whole bunch of money, and also, it, I think it's just, it's not adding that manipulative gameplay of the lucky draws, to where you think you only need to spend a certain, a uh, small amount of COD points per reality, You'll need to spend a lot of COD points in order to get what you actually want. So guys, that's what I think. I think that the CN version will inevitably remove the daily login bonuses. They will remove lucky draws. They will remove, like, earning prestige weapons. Because, like I said earlier, I think that counts as a cumulative reward. But anyway, guys, like I said, let me know what you guys think about this topic in the comments below. There's not much more news. Um that has to do with this right now, except of the fact that Tencent and NetEase, they've lost, like, 20 and like 15% of their stock value in the market, but I, I don't care about all that jargon and stuff. I just care about how it's going to affect COD Mobile. So, guys, if you did enjoy this commentary, leave a like, maybe even subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!